All right, grab some popcorn for this one. 13 Mysterious Details on Everyday Objects Explained You know, we're so used to seeing certain everyday objects that we become completely oblivious to the details. Yet some of the most ingenious ideas are often hidden right in plain sight. You'll definitely be surprised by these 13 nuances on the most commonplace objects out there. You ready? A tram's mysterious zigzags Now, if you look closely at a tram's overhead lines, you'll see that its contact wires zigzag back and forth instead of going in a straight line. To start with, all trams have an arm-like structure called a pantograph attached to the roofs. The upper part of the pantograph is gradually worn down by the overhead wire and eventually needs to be replaced. To wear it down evenly, the wire isn't installed strictly along the tram straight path, but in a zigzag instead. As the tram moves, the pantograph slides along the wire and it wears down evenly. <laughs> How practical is that? Who killed the king? Hmm, not me, no sir, uh-uh. In a standard 52 deck of cards, the king of hearts looks kinda strange. Sure, he's the only king without a mustache. But what's even weirder is that he's the only king who appears to be sticking his sword straight into his head. How? There are actually several theories on this. The first theory suggests that, originally, the king of hearts wielded an axe in his left hand. But due to centuries of card makers copying the image badly, the king's axe disappeared and started to look more like a sword. Another theory claims that the king of hearts represents the emotionally unbalanced French king, Charles VII. According to popular theory, the king went crazy and put a sword through his head from fear of being poisoned. Well, either way we'll get you. Some historians also argue that the King of Hearts represents Ajax the Great, while the Queen of Hearts is Helen of Troy, the most beautiful woman in the world. Ajax was one of Helen's admirers, but when she refused him, he chose to commit suicide by stabbing himself with his own sword. Ah, come on, get over it! The Royal Coat of Arms of the United Kingdom If you've ever seen British coins, you might have thought nothing of them. Well, the 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, and 50 pence pieces actually depict sections of the royal coat of arms. When laid out together, they form the whole shield. And the 1 pound coin depicts the entire shield on its backside. Pretty cool, huh? It's like a monetary mosaic. Hey, think about a tattoo like that for your backside. You'd be sitting on a fortune. Well, maybe not a fortune. The open jar symbol on cosmetics packaging Ladies, have you ever searched high and low for an expiration date on your makeup, all to no avail? In the future, just look for this little open jar icon. It's called the PAO, period after opening, and it tells you how long you can safely use the product after opening it. The jar is usually accompanied by a number with the letter M, which stands for months and it can be seen on almost all cosmetics products. Just make sure you remember exactly when you open the package, so you'll know when 3, 6, 9, or however many months indicated have passed. Really? Makeup goes bad after 3 months? Or maybe they just want you to buy some more, you think? The Statue of Liberty's Crown I'm sure you're familiar with Lady Liberty, whether you've seen her in person or in a picture. But have you ever noticed how many spikes are in her crown? And do you know what they represent? Well, there are seven of them, and they represent the seven seas and seven continents of the world, showing that freedom and liberty are universal concepts that should be shared across the world. And that crown of hers is a pretty heavy weight to bear. Each spike weighs 150 pounds. The crown also has 25 windows, showing a great view. I know, I've been up there myself. Now, here's another cool fact. She was originally the color of pennies, because she's made entirely of the same material, copper. Over time, the copper oxidized, and she turned that bluish-green patina color that we know her today. Can you imagine a reddish-brown colored Statue of Liberty? 
Weird. Blank pages in books. Now, you probably noticed that many books have a few blank pages at the beginning and or end. But do you know why? Book pages are often printed on large sheets of paper rather than on small individual ones. And if there isn't enough content to fill these sheets, there will be blank pages. Publishers often print the word notes or leave some other sign on them so readers don't think it's a printing mistake. Colorful toothpaste Huh, have you ever wondered why classic toothpaste is striped red, white, and blue? It's because it's French, right? Nah. It turns out that each stripe has different ingredients and purposes. Fluoride, the white part, is the most important ingredient in toothpaste. It helps whiten your teeth and remove plaque. The blue or green gel has antimicrobial and breath-freshening effects. The red part was added later. It contains crucial elements for healthy gums. In fact, keeping the colors in separate stripes isn't really necessary. It's just a clever marketing strategy. Bitter Nintendo Switch Cartridges So, is your first thought when playing video game consoles to eat the cartridges? <laughs> well, apparently, that's what the manufacturers of the cartridges for the Nintendo Switch thought when they decided to coat them with a bitter-tasting non-toxic solution. All jokes aside, it was actually a pretty smart move in case kids try to put the tiny cartridges in their mouth and possibly choke. Now, who would do that? Yeah, my kids. The bitter taste is meant to make children spit out the cartridge in disgust. Numbers on Heinz Packets You've probably never noticed the little numbers in the upper right corner of Heinz packets, since, if you're like me, you rip them open as soon as you get your fries. You probably didn't even notice that the same product can have different numbers. Well, the online community demanded to know what they mean, because they have too much time on their hands. So Heinz replied on their official Twitter page. Yes, they have one. Apparently, these numbers indicate the launch codes for a first-strike nuclear attack. No, not really, it's just which filling line the packet was filled on. Yeah, that's all. Nothing too exciting. The hole in the cap of a ballpoint pen Most people assume that the tiny hole on the tip of a pen cap is there to even out the pressure so that the pen doesn't leak. Good guess! But the real reason is much more serious. If a person accidentally swallows the cap and chokes on it, their airway won't be completely obstructed. There will still be a small opening for air to get through. Have you noticed a lot of things where people are sticking the wrong things in their mouths? Just saying, only put food in there. Pen caps are not dessert. Little bumps on the F and J on your keyboard. This is done for those experienced typists that can do their work without even looking at the keyboard. The F and J are the so-called home keys where your index fingers rest, and the bumps are there to help find this position. Indentations on the bottle of wine and champagne bottles Lots of people think that this is done so it's easier for the wine steward to grip the bottle when pouring drinks. While they might help out in this case, that's not why they exist. It's because the bottom and sides of a bottle are weaker and can crack when the bottle is being corked. The indentation in the bottom serves to compensate for the pressure that accumulates during the process. And that's exactly why champagne bottle indentations are much deeper, since they have more pressure due to the carbonation. Tiny holes in airplane windows have you ever noticed the tiny hole in an airplane window and wondered why it was there? Actually, these holes have two purposes. First, they help balance out the air pressure. When a plane ascends, the pressure inside and outside the cabin differs dramatically. Thanks to these little holes, the outer windows don't have to bear all the pressure. Secondly, without these holes, the window would completely fog up and block your view. Well, that's actually kind of cool, isn't it? So, what fact amazed you the most? Do you know any other little nuances on everyday objects? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Send this video to your friends, 
and remember to press the like button. Have you already subscribed to our channel? No? Then do it right away because we've got so many more cool videos on the bright side.